So following on um, from James's comments regarding cultural control, we need to get the best out of our residual herbicides, take the pressure off uh, those later um, applications uh, for the higher risk actives. So first of all, we need to make sure that the conditions are as good as possible for residual herbicides. So we're looking for a good firm seed bed, good tilth, not too cloddy, and good seed and soil contact. Um, and then depending on what we're using, looking at depth, depth protection to ensure we don't have any uh, issues with some of the, the weather we're getting with heavy rain this year. Um, BSF have been looking uh, at crystal trials now since 2003. Uh, we, what we've seen in about 47 trials is a good solid level of performance across a range of years. Um, particularly this last year we've had been very dry, uh, dry autumn, compared to the year before where we had a very good growing season and we've seen cons consistent results from pendomethylin in crystal with the use uh, with flute fenacet. So using two strong uh, actives with um, low, uh, low risk of um, resistance building up to enhanced metabolism if we use those uh, pre-emergence herbicides in their best possible timing with the best possible conditions. So for the last few years, BSF have been looking uh, in our trials at what we're terming a residual stacking. Uh, so with the loss of some of our key actives, trifluralin and uh, IPU, we've looked uh, additions into the tank with the crystal, which we think would be the best start. Um, so uh, CTU, prosulfocarb and uh, diflufenicin, to name a few. And for the last two seasons, we've seen the most consistent responses from the addition of uh, DFF into the tank with crystal. So not only is that giving us improved average levels of control, but it's also giving us good levels of consistency on those very difficult sites. And we've seen that over the last two seasons, which have, as you know, been very different, one very dry and one rather moist. Um, we've seen on average 14% uh, additional control from the addition of the DFF to the crystal, uh, which would liken in our trials to um, trifluralin use a few years ago. As well as that residual stacking, we're also looking at sequences, so trying to use uh, all of the products as well as we can, and no one manufacturer has all the answers. So again, we're starting with a very firm base, pre-emergence or early post-emergence, and then using sequences to follow up, uh, and then use of other, other contact actives later in the season. So for the last two seasons, we've achieved our best results. So it's sort of mid-90s to higher percent control um, from a sequence of Avidex, granules applied pre-emergence followed with crystal DFF uh, post-emergence at one leaf of the crop. As I say, this is giving us around about sort of mid 90% control on average across a range of sites. What we have seen is that addition of the DFF, um, regardless of where we're putting it into the program, whether it be pre-emergence or early post, is still giving us that around about you know, sort of 10 to 15% control, but also that additional consistency on those particularly difficult um, blackgrass sites. Where uh, people haven't been able to use Avidex, we've seen uh, good levels of control from a, a crystal DFF base, and then the addition of um, piclinifin based products, so things like Picona uh, plus CTU, uh, that's one, to le one leaf um, of, the, of the crop, and also using residual herbicides, uh, auxiliary, Defy, uh, Picona, in with Atlantis as one to two leaves of the black grass. And one of the things we have seen, particularly in our trials this year, is how variable some of those post-emergence contact actives have been from spring applications. So we're very much trying to take the pressure off those with this robust residual stacking and sequencing approach. So results from the BSF survey indicated the farmers were most concerned about their uh, growing blackgrass burden and that agronomists were more concerned about the variable performance of Atlantis. In my opinion, a, a strong, robust uh, herbicide program based on crystal as a, res as a residual pre-emergence following up with other uh, actives would be the best way forward to help uh, counteract those issues.